Um, eat, play, defecate, and mate. These are some ways to describe an ape, and coincidentally, <laughs> mirror my very existence. Um, eating as much as it is necessary to survive, I like to think myself as one who goes far beyond surviving. It is my specialty. Like a chimp's agility and precision to be able to leap precariously from tree to tree, as is my agility and precision with fork and knife. <laughs> <laughs> but just like the dark and dangerous jungle, it's not always fun and games. When the time comes for action, like the mighty ape, I stand and stomp and roar in the face of my enemies. This habit is found frequently on the Five North coming from Irvine during rush hour. <laughs> Although many would say an ape is a savage beast, untamable and a free spirit, I, I do not see the wrong in that. I too had not have others persuade that the way they lead their life is the way I should lead mine, or that their rules are the only way to, or to salvation. Although we share similar behaviors, we also share many physical traits. On those cold jungle nights, the chimp is protected and kept warm by hair that covers every inch of its body. However, I can only claim half chimp. <laughs> when it comes to, or, oh, because from the waist down, I am more than capable to survive an ice age, let alone a jungle. From the waist up, I resemble a bald, hairless, sweaty, tropical ape of some sort. It's not always fun in games when, or, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Although we sh No. <laughs> and just like the ape who does not shower but allows a so soft jungle breeze to carry its thick and pungent aroma to attract a male, or... <laughs> leads me to my next topic, why I'm still unable to find a mate. Some things are best left to chimps, but when it comes to long and lanky limbs, I like to think myself as a superior... something, I don't know, I messed up. So when someone tries to insult me by calling me a poo-flinging, butt-scratching, flea-ridden ape, I take it as a compliment. <laughs>